pleasant good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching all over the world this is your boy dre welcome back to dre anywhere the sports yes so reggae girls match day today versus chile in chile as you know there was a series in 20 was it 2023 last year or was it 2022 anyway chile came to jamaica or went to jamaica and played two friendly nationals now it's time to return the favor the two friendly internationals with chile played versus the reggae girls and they lost of course which was expected you know big guns them run out um khadija shah scored two and jody brown added the other that was a 3-2 victory for the reggae girls back then and and the return leg not return leg but the 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 second fixture jamaica defeated them 1-0 and that was from a marla sweatman goal so marla sweatman banged that goal in for the reggae girls back then in a 1-0 victory but the last last time we played them inside the national stadium it's 3-2 for the reggae girls over chile that was with the world cup team boy oh boy let's not get to that yet all right so we're not gonna get this yet so let's start with the match later on because two things going on in this video gonna preview the match later on which i'm doing right now then after that there's some selection controversy about the selection process and the suspension of the selection and avoiding fifa fine and blah 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 blue blase daddy <coughs> all right now i could get into it later on the reggae girls team either way you take it either which team go out there the world and we as fans should look at it as the jamaica team support the girls send them best wishes good luck you know a uh, number of them posted today so just send them a word of encouragement because at the end of the day the score line is gonna read jamaica versus chile it's not gonna say jamaica b team jamaica c team jamaica a team end of the day it i gonna say jamaica versus chile all right so, so one new face well familiar face but she'll be partnering easy girls in the midfield of course they play together at club level and now they're back together at the national team level for the first time jade bailey is in the team along with club teammate from london lioness easy groves midfield is going to be tough we could have a midfield with Izzy, Jade, Asha. <clears throat> and then it would be Marla Sweatman and Johnson up front. But if we play with wingers, it's going to get tricky. That means would be 4-3-3 three, three, which would bring um, days in and uh, Jade Bailey to the bench because you're not going to bench your two veterans Marlo and Asha so Marlo, Asha, Easy would play midfield Johnson top
right and whoever else you would like to play on the left that's how i would go with it but you have plenty of room to play with here coach gilbert still wearing the interim tag i don't know why jeff if they take the interim tag off of the man and just said head coach gilbert head coach xavier gilbert just give him it he's been wearing it um, had experience at the World Cup as the assistant, so let's give him the tag. If him, if if him get demoted in the long run, then so be it. But for right now, I don't see nothing wrong with just giving him the tag, giving him the label. Or you could do it where he steps down to be the assistant if you don't want to fire him in at the long run. So the same step down as the assistant and it's now the assistant coach you know if you want to go with a big name coach a more expensive coach for the team then you can say that but game later on 4 30 p.m that's jamaica time same time as here because i got 10 50 right now 10 15 yard right now so 4 30 later on and then the next game gonna be on the 27th at 5 p.m. Same in Chile, of course. Like I said before, we we hosted Chile a couple years ago, and we defeat them twice at home. One at Montego Bay, and then one again at Kingston. So we defeated them twice last time we hosted them. So many of y'all may say we defeated them with the A team so be it a team a defeat is a defeat b team a loss is a loss at the end of the day the score line is gonna read jamaica versus chile whatever score so again i must insist people just go they just show the girls them some encouragement you know underneath them posts or in them story where them are send them i put up um mrs Zoya put up pictures um easy put up pictures um Michaela put up pictures. You know, them put up pictures. So them are them are sure that we're here in Chile. We're training. Them are put up training pictures and things, you know. So just go out there, go show them a little encouragement. Tell them good luck in the game later on. We're here to support you. Go reggae girls, whatever it may that you come across your mind. But don't don't say no no hateful message or nothing like that just give them some encouragement because like i said if you love your country love jamaica it's jamaica go out there go play so whatever you may have in the back of your mind or your afterthought and say this is the b team this is ct blah blah you know it's jamaica playing so give the girls them some encouragement and watch the game too um if you don't follow my story during any weather sports I will keep you guys up to date on where you can watch the game. It's a friendly international, it's a FIFA window, so it affects our rankings if that's of any importance in the girls for the girls. So it's a FIFA window, it's a friendly. Alright. Hit the like button, people. Come on man. It left now no five likes. And them just come for take notes style. Don't hit the like button, no man. Man, them. You know, take nothing in there free. I mean, I do this for free, you know. YouTube now pay me a dime for this, you know. So, me over here and I give you know, free news and stories and updates and things. That's the least you know, could I do. I just hit the like button. It's simple and easy. It's a free way to support the channel and show the support. Because now I get information, so just take a second, hit the like button in the comment section. You can drop a comment afterwards. Those of you watching from the Instagram link, big up on yourself. Those of you watching from Facebook, big up the Facebook people. Them, yes, Facebook still fully active, up and running. TikTok, Dre Anywhere the Sports, big up the TikTok people. Them, no, let's get into the controversy controversial part of things oh boy
when will when will the drama end see Tony Montana go live right now just get the alert probably I go talk about the Bob Marley movie anyways back to the football and the reggae girls when will the drama end who is lying and why so Mr. Chung said in a in recent interview days ago or a day or two ago oh boy oh boy oh boy all right here we go the selection process was suspended to protect the girls from any punishment or fines that may come from FIFA while the investigation was going on by them and the JFF where it comes to them being paid their funds our payments here we go traffic never fails say, huh why never just leave it at the selection process was suspended why the explanation no why the selection process was suspended one thing police reported ahead one thing leads to the yeah police reported ahead because of uh, uh, accident then um turn part blocked off no cha -cha. more time for chat so let's say selection process suspended to protect the girls best interests from being fined or suspended by fifa and the explanation further goes which we already know that given it's a fifa window you send out the call to the girls and the club and the girls have to accept the call unless there's an injury or a proven personal reason for instance a birth in the family a death in the family you know stuff like a wedding plans wedding arrangements you know a personal reason which will be communicated back to the jff and the jff would either accept or not accept being that it's a FIFA win. And then if the JFF does not accept the personal reason explanation, they can force the player to accept the call or they'll go to FIFA and FIFA will review it and issue a fine or a suspension to the player. Only in the FIFA window. So I'm like now you're protecting the player's interests and explaining why the, the selection process of the world cup players was suspended controversy 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 another episode in the jff versus the girls the reggae girls the World Cup reggae girls because we got a reggae girls team playing later on today. Confusing. Don't make no excuse for them that they're looking out for the best interest of the reggae girls because I believe him putting foot in my mouth when he made that statement and he shouldn't have done that because we know that you, you, have to bring it to FIFA and say 
the girls did not accept the call and they did not give a valid explanation or reason it was not due to injury and it was not due to personal reason death in family wedding plans birth of a child uh, you know personal reasons like those so you have to bring it to fifa fifa don't take up things and read it and say which co which country invite a player which player never accept the invitation fifa don't care about that they're, they're busy 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 tallying yellow card fines and calculating how much this player gonna get fined and how much money are coming at them pocket or oh, oh, this or oh, that how much money are coming at them pocket if I'm not, and organizing tournaments and all of them things if i got time to be keeping track of who get call and who turning down call you gotta submit the appeal to fifa for the sanction of the girl from the club now if the club don't release the player then the club gets fine or in trouble with fifa not the player so you gotta gotta reach out to fifa so best interest of the players to avoid them getting suspended or fined from fifa come on man got to be kidding me i'm buying that me not nah buy it not today not tomorrow not yet next year not yesterday when me hear it no me not buy it so stop sell it foolishness that you have to submit to fifa so the 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 looking out for best interest of player yes he said it said it on oral tracy show and oral tracy does tiptoe around it like no challenge no rebuttal none of that no debating no question maybe him the knowledge about it neither maybe he must say oh fifa oh yeah that's a good idea protect the girls good job Come on, man. Grow some webbles. Question the man. Like, hold on. Wait a minute. So you're telling me if a player gets an invitation on a FIFA match date and doesn't come, then FIFA is going to find and suspend that player? Nope. You got to submit the appeal to FIFA, injunction, whatever it is, to FIFA that the player turned on the call on a FIFA window and the reason given why the player turned on the call, whether they say personal reason, you got to say, what's the personal reason? And you can deny that personal reason. And then when you deny that personal reason, FIFA will step in and rule in your favor. And then the player would get fined or suspended. FIFA don't be watching and seeing who getting called. Man, there's not no time for that. You know how much tournaments are going and how much... How much things see for fair deal with? See which player represent country and and in, in paperwork never got you yet and eligibility and all of that review the, the match commissioner submit things and FIFA and, and I check fines and I check get red card and play in a match and come on man what on the tip man for? Anybody got time for that? Well, if FIFA got time for that, me not buy it. The smart people, them not supposed to buy it. 
So we can't put them things out there and uh, 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 oral trace in us. Oh, just a loud mouth and no bite. Be a bark and no bite. Be a nice. I'm not going to beat him because my Liverpool fans are going to be Liverpool Sunday in the Carabao Cup. You know. Not the reason. You know. But I say, did accident, don't so. People don't want to see the accident. I'm gonna flip the camera. Breaking news boss live on the scene on the turnpike um, Pompano Beach exit. There's a three car accident going on right now. Gotta get out of my lane before me, that one. You're gonna get up close and personal view of the accident right now. As we drive by, oh, the camera flip. So, right, and we still can't see nothing. Let me see that way, yeah, yeah. No, that way, yeah. I wanna go. Troop of them just a jump out. But, man, they must let me over. See the people. People. The cars. The people. An accident, that's big shit. A look on trooper undercover is a bus. It's a car chase. An accident. Don't have it, people. Live and direct. Yeah. Back to the football now. You get breaking news action. Live and direct. On the scene. All right, back to the football now. Yeah, controversy. So, I don't understand how that, how oral make that slide so easy. What was the thought process behind it? Why the answer wasn't challenged? Maybe him himself wasn't knowledgeable about the process of turning down an international call up on a FIFA match window or during a FIFA match window. Because a window you can play two matches, uh, it, some teams play one. Most of the times um, Jamaica play only one match. But shout out to Coach Graham. It's been like two matches, a window and thing, tournaments, them get involved. But anyway, back to the reggae girls and the controversy. So there's also another scenario, another thing going on too. Last I heard, he also said in the same interview that the suspension has been lifted. So now this is where it gets real controversial and I also need to know that now that the suspension is lifted next women's um, international window FIFA window if the 23 players are called from the World Cup and the 23 players turn down the call and none of the 23 is injured will the JFF find the players now that the suspension has been lifted from the selection of these World Cup players because the players have been paid so now what are the demands of the players that haven't been met are they still looking to see the books and see how the JFF come up with these numbers and figures that they end up paying each player do they still want to see that stuff or have they been shown that and given that? Because at one point I heard that that was one of the things that were holding 
holding up the negotiation that was part of the negotiation for the return of the World Cup players and World Cup players including the college players because the negotiator the lead negotiator in the room is in control of things we see who we saw who came to the last interview on Sportsmax and speaking up the leader of the team Khadija Shah and goalkeeper Rebecca Spencer they went on the interview they were speaking up watch out vehicle on shoulder ahead front and center they were speaking up on the interview so the representative for them fit pro i think yeah fifth pro well, fit pro or fifth pro one of the two but they are the representatives for the girls and they and the eight college players have nothing to do with club commitment the reggae the the jff offered the invitation to the college players and they also said they declined the invitation. Eight college players declined the invitation. So I'm guessing that Simmons, all of them, Jody Brown, Simmons, um, Kiki, Van Santen, all of them. So. They declined, the European base declined, the Mexican base declined, the USA base declined, European I say English, France, Italy, you know, where the senior um, World Cup reggae girls play. So they all declined. So now that the suspension is lifted, and there's no more protection of the reggae girls, the World Cup reggae girls. Then no, we we have to think now outside the box. And the question should have asked, but again, Oral Tracy does it didn't challenge, didn't didn't not interrogate but didn't push back oh okay there, Lord. come on man so now that the suspension watch out vehicle on shoulder ahead of the selection process has been lifted if these players turn down the invitation and this is important because if a FIFA, I'm not sure when the next FIFA match window coming up. I'm driving right now. But remember, stay tuned for more information where that is concerned. So uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification. I right, see, so won't get the breaking news as we drop them. Because this is part of a breaking news too. Because going to the match, the first part of the video, you get the match there and the preview of the match for the reggae girls versus Chile. Now this part of the video where we go more in depth into the controversial things, side of things. So can't help but to wonder and think because the questions wasn't asked in the oral Tracy interview. I'm not sure if because he never have enough time or I'm just the Watch out, vehicle on shoulder ahead. What? I never know. But the question has to now turn to what if the girls still don't rectify them holding out from being selected and accepting the call to the national team? What if them 
turn down the next call up on the next FIFA window. Know that the protection, protection of the reggae girls, the World Cup reggae girls, has been lifted by the JFF. Will they be fined? And the JFF controls that. FIFA doesn't control that. FIFA controls the last say, of course. The ruling FIFA controls. But the JFF controls whether or not they want to go ahead and find or suspend these players. More likely, if it's a money thing, it's going to be fine, not suspend. So if they want to go, go ahead and suspend these players and fine them for not accepting the call on a FIFA match window without just cause. All right, let me break it down. Without a valuable reason. So if it's not injury, they can say personal, but guess what? 23 players can't say personal. Or to avoid it, avoid fines, they just accept the call the next time it comes up. So, I think the ball is in the JFF court. They are in control. And they know this. The girls aren't in control. Because, like I said, the JFF can call them on the next window the next FIFA window and if they turn it down Mr. Chung says that the suspension of the selection process which was protecting the girls while the negotiation was going on that has been lifted which means if the girls turn down the invitation on a FIFA match window they can take it to FIFA and ask for fines of these players and if if the JFF are who you guys and a lot of people say they are that would be lots of money in the JFF pocket you're talking about fining 23 players even if it's a thousand dollar fine Whatever FIFA, I'm not sure what the numbers. You guys can drop that in the comment section. What is the FIFA fine for turning down an international call up per player? What's the FIFA fine for a player turning down an international call up? Because there are some some of them are in college, some of them are in pros. The only way they could turn on the call up and avoid a fine is to retire players not gonna retire from international football not all of them at least players in their 30s they can but they're not gonna retire from international football so that's why I said people ladies and gentlemen ladies watching too Ladies and gentlemen, the ball is in the JFF court. They have the handle to the knife. Girls have the blade. Mr. Tracy, Oral Tracy, you drop the ball. Because you never ask none of these challenging questions. You just leave the fans to speculate. That's the question you should have asked. What if the girls turn down the next FIFA call, the next call up on a FIFA match window? Do you now turn to FIFA and ask for fines of these players? Because if I can't find them, you can end up padding your pocket 
even more because you're talking about 23 players being fined not sure what the figure is i'm driving right now but you guys can follow and turn on your notification on the instagram because that's where i would be dropping something like that that's not a full video i'll just drop that in the in the story of how much the, the fine would be if the reggae girls was to um, turn down the next call up now that the suspension has been lifted which is no longer protecting the players from FIFA so those of you who missed it preview of the match later on between reggae girls and Chile remember it's not Jamaica's B team or C team the score is gonna read Jamaica versus Chile and that's what it reads 4 30 p.m. later on today some very interesting um, questions and some very controversial topics has been discussed or spoken about failed to be brought up or questioned by Mr. Oral Tracy when he had Mr. Chung in the interview those questions I just mentioned them so whoever have him on the program next hope you're taking notes because I love tech notes about the breaking news and the tech notes about other things them of importance. Big up everybody who watched the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And turn on your notification so you can get the news as it drops. Not the day after. Or the week after. And then you say, it's not breaking news turn on your notification big up everybody there on the youtube big up everybody who covers the reggae boys the reggae girls and remember i i give you news stories and breaking news concerning my favorite teams not your favorite team unless your favorite team is also my favorite team who are they if you don't know by now Go repeat it one more time. Chelsea Football Club, Barcelona, Los Angeles Lakers, Dallas Cowboys, Harborview, FC, and now newly added into Miami FC from the MLS. Yes, Dre is going to start giving you some MLS news and stories concerning mm, you can say that's a 20 minute 30 minute drive commercial boulevard yeah my local team into miami fc and of course the reggae boys and reggae girls being that i'm jamaican of course every day i drive around with a jamaican steering wheel right so it's a jamaica on it jamaica tattoo on my arm out of many one people so there you have it people hit the like button people that don't know hit the like button just do the right thing it's a free way to support the channel and the content 45 subscribers away from 2000 just share it with a friend or family member do the right thing just support the breaking news boss over here big up on yourself have a blessed day and wish the reggae girls all the luck later on as they take on Chile. And hopefully we can get some more clarity on the questions that I just put forward to the JFF concerning the World Cup reggae girls. With that said, I say peace, love, unity to all YouTubers out there and all the followers and subscribers on the channel have a blessed day one love go watch the bob marley movie until next time this is boy dre i'm saying out them are custom and quarrel and them won't complain take a detour and a pop up name them balling and them carrying on them